It's a big 4,000 pound sculpture. It's this massive ball of wood with this log and it's probably the biggest sculpture I've ever made. So I'm just thrilled that the, the museum has given me the opportunity because it's rare that a museum will come forward and commission you to do something of that scale. The cluster is here, the log is here. The piece is really about all these different planes and these different directions. So initially I wanted something that could spin, but as I kept simplifying it down, I wanted this relationship between the origin of the wood and the history of the wood. I mean, I spent seven, eight days driving around Chicago collecting wood. It's every food group of your house. Your furniture, the windows, the picnic table out back, the shutters, the kitchen table. This is part of a pew from a church. All legs from chairs. There's hundreds of these. This floor that I found in Oak Park came out of a house that was designed by a student of Frank Lloyd Wright's. And then I just remade the floor by screwing and gluing it. But I almost feel like this archeologist, which is really cool. This is the real jewel, believe it or not. And this is a return for like the heat and the air conditioning. But this is actually handmade. Now these are all steel and they're all metal. The, there's so much history in this sculpture just based on the streets of Chicago. I've never talked to someone that looks at a collar and says, oh, that's ugly. Or that, you know, that's uncomfortable. Like he was really good, like really good. 